Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Italy, episode number 41. In the middle of this big battle, which is the torpedo launch fest that uh, I've always dreamed of. So far, none of our ships have been hit by torpedoes. We've hit probably, we've claimed at least probably a dozen or so torpedo hits. Uh, maybe more. What I don't know though is how many of these are misreported or hits but dud hits. Those things are, um, I, I don't think you're made aware of those. I think they still register as torpedo hits. So we have to be careful about that as well. It's another thing I was thinking about off camera. <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure. I, I, I can't be 100% certain that these are all actually hits. So let's just run right at this dreadnought and try to make that a target. Um, this is exactly what I wanted. My light cruisers picking on their destroyers. The more damage you do to them, the less likely they are to launch and hit with their torpedoes. This is another great thing, having my destroyers in good position to launch at... Oh, that, that looks good. That looks quite good. In fact, the Lebeccio herself, the little cowardice that she originally was, is even going to be able to launch torpedoes. It's fantastic. I don't know if I even want to get my other ones involved. Now, we are taking a ton of damage with the Sarnano, so let's, well, let's do the smart thing here. Let's detach her. And just get her to head directly north. Do not pass go, do not collect $200. Now, the Bella Lug Lugiosi will, in fact, come in and... Squad Max... You should deploy smoke. Make yourself a little harder to hit. Th those look on target though. And that is just a lot of 15 inch guns that nobody wants to be facing. You can see how much damage the 15 inch guns should do. Like every now and then I'm wondering, we've taken two heavy hits, two 15 inch hits, and we're already like dead. So that's, ex that's exactly what I expect to happen to enemy light cruisers. You know, you take two 15 inch hits and you're just pulverized. Just it doesn't have to happen, but it can, and um, it, at least if it happens to them as often as it happens to me, I won't complain. No, still no targets there. Oh boy. Well, we'll just keep chasing this group down. Don't think there's anything else. We have just a few people leaving. You guys can come back, and you are. Okay, so let's do this. Hit by a dud torpedo, and Domptable was hit. Oh, pause the time. We don't, I'm sorry, we don't actually care about her. Uh, was hit by another torpedo. That is fantastic. I, I Normally you can actually see some of their guns, uh, their turrets actually blow up. That destroys the guns when you do these launches. Uh, now you probably don't have, oh, you don't have any torpedoes left anyway. So with any speed you can muster, I'm just going to put four there. Try to get out of there. Um, you're sinking. You have other destroyers coming and hitting you with torpedoes, which is great. I'm happy that she's still alive and absorbing torpedoes. You know, sinking, but at least alive for now. If that's a just a battleship, which I think it is, it looks like it's about to be hit by a torpedo. So we will try to close on her. And this battleship is just, doesn't even know it, heading right into the shark's jaws. And we do have our light cruiser here to kind of hopefully defend against some of the uh, just enemy's destroyers. Though I'm not, I won't be surprised if we take a few hits. Okay, the bet is now sinking. Yeah, and that was one of the, the battleships. So let's just call them battleships. We know that they're battleships now. Not just, they're no longer, I think, destroyers. Uh, you actually did get yourself into a position. I didn't even notice this. Frenchy, Frenchibile, Frangibile. So you're actually launching torpedoes. That's good. Very good to see. Okay, launch some more. Because you might not make it to the next turn. Have you? We'll probably pull her off as well. Very 
Yes, I bet you can seek her final revenge. Let's see, Yatagan, Yatagan, it's a good ship. Okay, she took some hits. Yeah, she took a pretty big hit. The Vecchio's just got whaled. Conning tower and turret destroyed. And the Intrepido is still managing pretty well against whatever destroyer that is. Just too much action to keep track of here. Wow, well that looks good though. That looks like a good barrage from the Lebeccio, who she may even have. Yeah, she cannot fire anymore as she is now sinking. So I guess you can fire uh, the last round you're sinking as a final hurrah. And we've seen a lot of ships do that. Probably AI ships have done it several times to me as well. Um, but I've seen my own ships do that under AI control. So that another thing that looks like it's just part of the game mechanics. You can fire the last minute you're when you start sinking. Now you have a shot here. That's good. Let's do that. That'll kind of I don't know if that what actually will even come of that, but let's I can I do I don't think I can detach a single unit, but I, I do want her to go to AI control yet we can't. Oh we can. Okay, great. I want her to go to base as soon as she has the ability to do so, but she's at zero knots right now, so um, you know what? I'm just going to detach the... I don't want to lose all my destroyers, so let's just attach you and send in only your sister ship. Let's see if you can launch torpedoes first, but then I want you to go home. You cannot, which I'm a little surprised by. Okay, you can at somebody, and that's good enough for me. <laughs> launch torpedoes everywhere, and then pull off. And the Frangibile Leone Mark II will continue in your place. Okay, so that's all square. These guys are going home. Unidentified ship is sunk over there. Closing in on these guys. Uh, you guys are just so far out of the battle, which is not a bad thing. It's like all my major strategic, strategic points are down here. <laughs> I have uh, 32 strategic points just remaining safe, but we should. I think we'll be able to get some work done over here with um, these other ships. Again, good. I'm glad that we're hitting these destroyers as well. Yes, got her. Okay, so a very good turn. We hit the Indomptable with another torpedo. I, I'm, she's sinking. She's not actually sinking. She's got 23 knots here. This is your cheap way of telling if a ship's actually sinking. So she's not sinking yet. She's still got a little fight left in her. Now the Tiber is avoiding torpedoes. I guess it's wonderful that we turned her basically uh, slightly, which probably put her parallel to the direction of travel with these torpedoes. Probably they were aimed for the Strangola Prete. Strangola Prete. Strangola Preti. Ah, that's a tough one. Anyway, speaking of this ship, she doesn't have any torpedoes left on this side, I bet. Yep. Understandably. So let's pull these guys off. You know, we've got we got so many ships down with um torpedoes. Why risk it? Um are we still hitting this destroyer? So this one's being hit. We got hit, and we hit this Dreadnought, that's nice. We hit the Destroyer, which is actually, at this point, even better. Yeah, keep hitting those Destroyers, that's what I wanna see. It doesn't take much for those Destroyers to really, really uh, get messed up, and then they, you know, they, they can't launch. They have that one last moment when they're sinking, as we've seen, but after that, it's, it's game over, so. Looks like a group of destroyers turning back over there. The Bella, Lug Bella Lugios Lugosi Lugosi Lugosi. She's 
She's going to follow the Indomptable, which I honestly think should nearly be sinking. I mean, she's been hit by like five torpedoes, maybe six. Okay, Trepido was hit by a torpedo. My god, well, she's I can tell you she's not going to live. What? It must have been like a not in a not critical spot cuz she's actually not doing poorly. Good to see that our uh destroyers are taking care of the enemy destroyers as well. Even though we don't have those torpedo gunboats that were much requested. Um uh, yeah, so let's go after what do we have here? A rune class with one of its turrets destroyed already 16 inch guns great deck armor but not so great on the belt area so this is actually a great ship for us to chase down in close range we actually have to watch out for these torpedoes sadly so we will swing a little bit east first um these guys are getting out of the way i think that's just fine we'll let this guy slip up i'm pretty sure these guys are going to turn north and head towards port that's why i'm kind of trying to send everyone who I want to still engage north. But you have launched all but two of your torpedoes, so yeah, we'll get you to just head back as well. Again, we want to save what destroyers we can. Once they launch their payload, there no there's just no use to waste them. Yeah. And they're <laughs> she's firing her 15-inch guns at my destroyers, which means that hey, if one of those hits <laughs> it's gonna be painful. How slow is she going though? She should be going pretty darn slow. So that's gonna increase our chances to hit, I believe. Okay, what about Casanova? Can you fire? Hmm. Swing east maybe? The Sarnano is not sinking, right? Yeah, she's holding on strong, that's good. Combat ineffective really, but Good to see at least. Okay, so what is this turn going to what are we gonna do in this turn? Doesn't look like we have any torpedoes really to follow, which saddens me slightly, but and this magenta has been clobbered by torpedoes as well. Yeah, she's down to three knots, she's actually sinking. Okay, so let's have these guys hold fire, which they already are. Good. You do not need to hold fire, because if you launch at the indomptable, I'll still be okay. We're holding fire. You're probably gonna sink. You may not though. Hey, you know, could get lucky. Just seeing who is holding their torpedo fire. You are, and you don't need to either. You don't have torpedoes to fire. You don't have any torpedoes to fire on this side, and nobody here has torpedoes to fire. Okay, good. Fair enough. You guys are not holding your torpedo fire. Okay. And you guys are. Ah, you guys are, but that's good because this is there is a destroyer. Excuse me. Uh-oh. Uh, <clears throat> throat started getting scratchy. Okay, now the rune has been hit by a torpedo, which two turrets down. She is not dead yet. That's incredible. Where that torpedo came from, I don't know, but I'm glad we turned the Tiber to di <laughs> diverted her. <laughs> Mm, too bad the Typer doesn't have... Oh my god. I was about to say tor torpedoes, but that's another way of getting the job done, is just going point blank and blasting them with pretty much all of your broadside. Nine 15-inch guns. Why nine? We don't have a combination of guns with, which results in nine. We can get seven. We can get eight. We cannot get nine. <laughs> There's no way we can get nine. I guess one gun and one of the tubes got jammed or something, but I don't know how that works. You probably wouldn't fire the entire turret. But I don't know. I, I know that's, I shouldn't speak like that. Maybe you can just fire, choose to fire. You know, yeah, why, and why not? Why wouldn't you? So that was a naive guess on my part. And one that I, I kind of immediately think I, I'm wrong about. So we're looking here and we're seeing that, uh, yeah, the. This one finally started to take some damage. Just gonna pull her off because I think if this ship keeps going, she's going to work herself some more flooding. The more flooding she has, the more of a list, the less damage she's able to... Um... Ah, interesting. Our starboard side's expended. Let's go crazy and actually switch to our port side then. 
So what do we have here? Okay, sorry, had a packing crisis, <laughs> which I'll probably have to take care of in a couple minutes here. Um, yeah, like we, this is risky having the Tiber getting in so close, especially with all those destroyers, but they're not at a great angle. Yeah, I think we're okay with this. And you're heading home, and you guys are going to try to head off to finish the survivors. Okay. All right, so this rune is not dead yet, but my god, it's been taking a lot of hits. Bella Luguyosi is now facing the full broadside of a ship, which, in my opinion, should already be sinking. We'll turn her very hard to uh, starboard, hopefully open up our port ship. Uh, port. And you know, I guess we're going to have to launch torpedoes at this thing. Even though I'm not like, com I'm not very confident. She's gonna keep turning. You know what we can do? Actually, we have these ships which can move over. I was gonna go after the Magenta, but she is sinking. So let's go after the Indomptable, which is not. There's a smart move. There is another battleship here. We're kind of gonna get let get away by doing all this, but okay, that's. I mean, there's some things which uh, you you can't get all of them, right? Gotta catch them all. No, we don't. We don't have to. We do have another battleship pulling up, so it's really good timing that the Bella is turning off to her starboard side to the west, with this battleship kind of steaming towards her. And you know what? That's another a nice secondary role for these, for this uh, destroyer division. Something else, another target for them to commit to, because wow, she's just getting smashed. Are you able to fire? Because I'm starting to get worried that you might. Okay, now uh, crossfire is going to be nice here, I think. I think that that is going to be good crossfire. And we'll have further crossfire coming in from these guys, so that's good. Magenta is sinking. The rune is not sinking yet. Yeah, I think I already checked. I'm surprised every time I see it, though. Two more hits. Have we uh, have we done the damage net necessary yet? Not yet, I guess. We do want to chase these destroyers away. <clears throat> and actually, you know, the Frenchie, Frenchie Belay Mark II, the Leone Mark II, if I want to keep it easy, uh, she'll do the job. So let, let the type of just pull off. No reason for her to stick in. The rune is going to be going very slow, a torpedo target, if nothing else. Okay, let's also fire our last rounds. So no matter what, and then get you the Bella to pull away as well. Um, you guys are probably launching basically everything at this ship already. Yep, that's all of yours down. And you still have some. launch there. That doesn't look like the right line. I, I would move it a little closer, but what do I know? I could go for this or I could turn on the Indomptable. I, I mean, it's possible that one of these shots doesn't get through, though, so let's... Oh, the Casanova Mark II must have got hit. No, that's the Intrepido. Yeah, this is the only one that's kind of made it unscathed, I believe, through the whole mess. And the Praetorian will go after her. In fact, we'll boost her artificially to Praetorian's max speed, even though she'll leave her other ships behind. Yeah, okay. I mean, and we still have to remember that this is like an amazing... Oh, yeah, this is good. This looks good. You have zero torpedoes left. Ooh, crew quality negative two. My god, who... Who's been controlling this Bella? My god. Terrible. 
<laughs> it's not, not promising. Okay, so let's turn these guys so that they can just go give a entire barrage to... Oh, it's only three ships. Okay, that's still fine. I think we'll just give the barrage to this other um, battleship. That makes sense to me. Two different angles, that seems good. You know what, if our rearmost ship... Yeah, you're out of arc. Okay, so just wait a little bit longer. You guys will just slip right through. So I think the Indomptable, it'd be impossible for her to avoid all these. That would be like the most insane dodging ever. Uh, we all know the AI can see torpedoes and can take evasive action against them, but that would be a little too much for me to believe. So let's just take a look at her. I think it should be obvious to these that she's turning a hard to uh, hard to port, so north. Two torpedoes left and no targets. Interesting. Casanova doesn't have a target. Hmm. Should we detach the Grenatieri and see if we can just control? It might make sense. Okay, she's not sufficiently damaged. That makes up our mind for us. That's still fine. Looks like we got out without taking any torpedo hits over here. Rune, still not actually sinking. Do we have port side torpedoes here? We do. Okay, good. So that's a bad angle. We'll wait. We'll have her hold her torpedo fire. I'll manually command it. Seems to make sense to me. There we go. Indomptable hit by another torpedo. Still not sinking, my god. We've got two more coming for her. It looks like one of those is going to hit. That's starting to look good as well. What? Do you have any torpedoes left? No. So I, even though this is going to kind of probably bring you into harm's way, I'm just going to send you home so I don't have to think about you anymore. Uh, we'll let these guys continue on the line, but first I want to see if anybody can launch torpedoes at this last... Yeah, we'll just keep firing them that way. And that means actually you should detach, and I only need to worry about the last ship here. But we'll, you know what? We're running out of torpedoes. Casanova, I'm going to ask her not to fire, in fact, because I want... Oh, okay, well. Is this ship stopped? I need to see if she stopped or not before... The firing solution they chose there means that the ship is stopped, which is possible. In fact, if it is, I would regret not firing torpedoes, so let's just do it. And then these guys can just, you know, we'll just have them... I don't need to send them home. I could just send them in a random direction, which is probably better. Like, just to escape. Just go escape, and we'll send you home, um, you know, after. When things are a little more clear. Oh, my god, the friend... Okay, so she is launching her torpedoes. That's probably enough, even though I know that that's going to leave you with two torpedoes. I'm going to have you just call that a day, because you're pretty severely damaged yourself. So let's bring the Tiber back into the fight. It looks like she, this um, Dreadnought, for whatever reason, is actually turning towards our Praetorian. Yeah, so the two I want to look at are these two. Even though we do have some going at the ruin, we'll, we'll keep the ruin in the bottom right. You choose what you want to watch. Indomptal was hit again. Enemy Dreadnought was hit. Perfect. Did get this one. We will pursue her as well. And we also are starting to hit this Dreadnought with a lot of fire. A surprising amount. She's not sinking yet. Okay, um, those three torpedoes are definitely going to do it. So we just got to watch out for the ones that don't get, that don't, that don't hit. <laughs> don't hit my own light cruiser, so we'll turn away hard there. Yeah, you know what? My main battle cruisers and my main um, dreadnoughts just start heading north-ish, but 
don't get involved. There's still enough torpedoes out there that something for us to be worried about, I think. Now, you guys are completely out of torpedoes, so yeah, just start heading this this way. Oh, the Ruin class was now hit by another torpedo, and she is still not reporting this <laughs> being sunk. Okay, you know what? Turn back and fire two more torpedoes, and then you can then you can leave. I promise. Let's just fulfill your requirement of sinking this darn ship first. Um, yeah, those the rest of those are gonna miss. So we need to wait for this dreadnought to straighten out before we can get any more damage done. Now we're just raking the one dreadnought that it wasn't sunk totally by torpedoes with 12 inch fire, six inch fire, 14 inch fire, more six inch fire. Yeah, okay. Are either of these gonna hit? Yeah, one more time. We got one more and the Mari Nostrum Mark II has been sunk. Okay, that's fine. They probably were hitting her dead corpse, this Dreadnought. I don't know, I'm just guessing. We don't wanna risk these battleships can be sunk even with one, um, even with one torpedo. So I am gonna pull off now. Just about, you know, battlefield turn away. Frangible is, is this thing stopped? I can't remember. She's getting cut to pieces. I think she's turning though. Do you have torpedoes? I don't think you have torpedoes on this side, right? Yeah. But you do. Now you can go home. I assume one of those will hit. Go ahead and make your way back. You have a good story to tell about now too. That was nice to see that all three started to divert. That's great, very good news. The Tiber with her better, her higher tonnage, her better torpedo protection and all that. We're gonna chance her a little bit more. She's a single ship, so she's actually, I think, easier to control as well. Oh, we ran into, what is this? A light cruiser? I don't think this is a light cruiser. Probably a destroyer. Yeah, it's fast too. Ruin took another hit. This one got two more 14-inch guns before we uh, turned away. It's got heavy damage. Um, what happened? To the dreadnought, which was here. We actually lost sight of it. That's concerning. But she was hit. How many times was it? Was she hit? Like if we z just scroll up here, we're looking for the, it was the Indomptable. One there, two. Three. And we hit her a few times before, that's four times. We hit her a few times before we identified her as well, I think. Okay, six, I refuse to believe a ship can take six torpedoes and live. I, there, I think there's probably, somebody will point out in the comments and I, I love to read about it too. The one heroic ship who did somehow survive like nine torpedoes. But let's be honest, most of the time, if you get hit by three or four, you're going down. And ships that were hit by more than that were, uh, you know, normally ships even hit by three or four would sink. And maybe they were hit by even more, but, you know, they were already sinking. So maybe the people don't even count at that point. Um, this is the one that's still alive. Could send our ships up that way then. Yeah, I mean, if the rune isn't sinking, there it is. It's reporting being sunk now. Good. So let's get you to go up and chase away these destroyers. Uh, we do have one destroyer coming this way as well. Yeah, we'll turn back. Tiber is now hitting that with its 15-inch guns. <laughs> My god. Okay, there's the unidentified indomptable. God, we, we don't have any torpedoes. We're not, we should not be engaging this. Uh, like we don't have weapons to use. You guys do have weapons to use. Actually, my god, she came back, didn't she? Hey, you've expended everything. Get out of here. You haven't, so fire away. And we want you to turn really hard. Good. Very good. Fantastic. Good stuff. 
Very good stuff. She's probably sunk. Damn. Just gonna get her down to zero. It might save her. If not, she's sunk anyway, so. One more destroyer for one more um, battleship. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. The ruin is still moving in circles here. She is sinking, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Um, we do want, okay, Tiber, do you want, do me a favor and go take out this Indomitable. You guys can kind of turn back. Uh, maybe not worth it. Maybe it's, yeah, maybe not worth it. Stay on the periphery with that one. Got her. And fire more torpedoes. Because you might not be around much longer, so. Wow, what a slog. This has been like two complete episodes of torpedo launching. <laughs> so we hit this destroyer a lot, which is good. Um, Tiber took a hit, hey! They are, they're active. We got them and they're active. But we're also, you know, launching, I'm uh, sorry, hitting them with our, bar our, our own barrage. Looks like we didn't open up a full broadside. Let's change that, just like tweak in our course. That looks really good. I think at night things are more often over-reported, but okay, yeah, and just get out of there. Whoops, it's my uh, wrong ship, but that's fine. She's actually, it's good for her to go that way as well. All right, and let's get our battle cruisers in to help. I think that that's a wise decision. Rune taking more damage unnecessarily. Um, Tiber is now firing a full broadside hit with four. That's great to see. This one had already taken a little bit of damage, if I'm not mistaken. So whatever speed you can muster, get yourself turned away. And we'll get the Praetorian down here as well. Oh yeah, things are looking quite good. She's still active though. She's still firing. Yeah, we need you to... Yeah, manually target. I'm gonna have to do manual target. Yeah, do that one. Because I think that's really important. Hitting this one still. We still don't know anything about it even though our destroyers are about to collide with it. Let's just turn you away. You guys aren't even really supposed to be here. You don't have torpedoes, but. Okay, destroyer hit. Destroyer hit, good. Both good. And sure hit, very good, very good. Ah, the Intrepido has been hit by another torpedo. The first destroyer I think I've ever seen hit by two torpedoes. My god. Two medium hits, two light hits, and two torpedo hits. You know, the first two categories, two medium hits, two light hits, is probably enough to sink a destroyer. Two torpedoes, my goodness. There is no such thing as overkill, huh? And these guys are actually going to get away. Okay, let's now maneuver them south. At uh, re relatively slow speeds. They're out of the fight. Just make for open waters, and then I'll forget you ever existed, which is fine. You can desert for all I care. You've already done your part in this war. Okay. So we want to try to line up starboard side shots with our light cruiser. She has to turn hard, actually. Tiber is switching to a new target. <laughs> Interesting. It's kind of fun. They're actually picking whatever targets they want, kind of. Uh, are you still, like what is, I'm not exactly sure what's going on here, why you are a separate ship, but okay. Oi, that's a lot of shots. It's a lot of shells, a lot of landing shells. 
I want the tarbor to pull back hard, 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 hard. Or, I, okay, I'll turn to, I'm actually gonna send her south because these guys are gonna launch torpedoes. I just, I just don't want to be a part of that. Not yet, but soon. Yeah, the Marchius, Marchius Agrippa, <laughs> it's funny because um, Frosty actually commented he wouldn't mind this ship getting retired. Well, she might get retired with full military honors <laughs> if she <laughs> ends up taking too many hits from this uh, dreadnought here. I'm sure that they're just ripping her pathetic armor to shreds, and you can see she, she has huge flooding issues immediately. But we should be in a position to launch a torpedo here. Yeah. Well... See if we can land a hit there. Mm, okay. You guys can now just head home. Done your part. Okay, who's left? We can come in with you. Yeah, we'll come in with you and sink this one. The Tiber's already moving that way, actually. But these guys already have this Dreadnought under control, I believe. Looks like it might be a miss, but that's a lot of hits on it still. Yeah, that's a lot of hits. Marchius Scrippa is taking some good damage though, jeez. Is she gonna make it? Maybe not. Unsighted is, oh God, we have another ship. All right, Praetorium, we got the charge basically. Ah, God, this is tough. Oh wait, there's an unidentified ship here too. Could this be the Battlecruiser fleet? I mean, it could be, which kind of scares me. I don't want to move towards it because, you know, it has, it may have destroyers. I'm glad I turned the Tiber south, my goodness. And where, by the way, oh, these guys are starting to get there. Slow down to 28 for those guys. This magenta is sinking, right? Yeah, and this rune is sinking, good. So we have like so many dead ships all over the place. Wow. That is a lot of shells to monitor. 14 inch hit, 16, 12 inch hit, six, 12 on a different one, a new dreadnought which has appeared, and two sixes, Praetorian getting hit by heavy guns from, yep, the still active, still kicking dreadnought. Uh, another un unidentified ship, another, this is scary now, the Praetorian's actually taking some real damage. Now Nike is hitting the new, uh, this, that's, that's fantastic. See these guys opening up. Uh, that's a lot of hits as well. So a lot of five inch guns, but still enough 15 inch guns hitting that well, something's getting done. Yeah. And I'm, we, we could use this group like time now. It's crazy. <laughs> this battle just, it keeps going. There's no end, no end in sight. All right. 14 inch hit. Bunch of five inch hits to 15 inch hits. So we're definitely giving this guy a warm welcome. Eleni de Venezia is taking a hit. Praetorian doesn't have any more torpedoes. This is a Dunkirk with everything but one turret. Good Lord, 27 knots, 38,000, very low armor. Just keep up, what's her torpedo situation? Two submerged, so she has one torpedo, only 18 inches. So not even as devastating that she can launch at us. So I say Praetorian just stay, um, stay the course right now. Like what's your current course? Uh, 300. So let's leave you at 300. So I don't change your course at all. And just pelt the Dunkirk with a little bit more. She, she's not actually sinking yet, but <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of damage. So she's a combat ineffective. We can just take some more shots at her. Uh, Marjorie Sagrippa, I don't know what you're doing, buddy. Let's actually turn you if I can. Yeah, good, I was able to. Oh my God, yep, that's them. And this is reported as a battleship. I don't know what it is. It's a mystery. So Tiber is hitting this. Actually, Tiber, I need you to turn back towards this Dunkirk. Oh, no, I actually, somebody has to sink this one and we're actually kind of running out of torpedoes. Um, yeah, the Strangola Preti will be interested in using her torpedoes against the Dunkirk, let's say, as long as the Tiber can get close and ruin this guy's day. And he's stopped anyway. And honestly, our other battle cruisers are also on a line to hit that. Now we've done a lot more damage even in this minute, the last combat turn with uh, the Dunkirk. 
boy, she has taken some punishment. Praetorian is hit by a dud and a normal one. That is a lot of torpedoes. Where did those torpedoes come from? This Dunkirk is only capable of launching one torpedo. Unless this destroyer is going northeast. I don't know. I still don't know where those would have come from. But I'm just going to leave her steady as she goes. Let's see. What's her flooding situation? Manageable. She's slowing down on her, on her own just from those hits. Where are these ships coming from? I thought we've sunk every single ship. But yet, yet the French still pour in. And we're 40 minutes into the next episode. Ah! Okay. Tiber is heading this way. That's fine. And the strangle, strangola preti is heading towards the Dunkirk. That's good. Um, still don't know what's going on with the March Escrippa, but it allows me to launch torpedoes. That's fantastic. No, launch over here out of arc. Oh gosh, what better arc could you want? Okay, let's see what else we're hitting. I think this ship is still getting a mouthful. Okay, the Nike's actually starting to focus on that one. I'm not actually ecstatic about that. I'd rather them focus on the rear battleship because that one has much less damage, I'm sure. Although, you know, it might be time for us to spoil, like, you get out of the way. Just get out of the way. You don't have torpedoes. We'll angle you correctly in a second. And you guys just bundle up. I want to make sure that, oh, actually, no, you're right. Don't bundle up then you'll be easier torpedo targets. And right now the two strategic dreadnoughts are lagging, which is good. I don't want them in the fight anyway. Okay. Praetorian steady as she goes. Yeah, I still don't know where. Holy cow. Don't know what it was, but the Ilione de Venezia has done it. I will be very interested to see what this ship was. I don't even know if we'll be able to track it down. Like what ship was it? I don't know. It is, oh God, we need a landmark. The one almost directly north of the Mare Nostrum, just slightly to the left. So let's take a look at that after the battle. See if they actually identify it for us so we can go back and see what she was. Um, you're still not able to fire torpedoes, are you? Yeah, no. What about the Italione de Venetia after her recent success? No, actually, that's right. The destroyers coming in, that's not really as much of a concern for us. Well, I mean, it is for our battleships, for sure. They're a little bit behind the Praetorian, so she doesn't have to worry as much. But um, basically, we just want to move. Wait, these guys are all alive. Well, Praetorian, we don't really want you to drag them over there then, do we? At the same time, are we still... Okay, this is identified as a suffering class. She's dead. Hold your fire. Um, target that manual fire good okay good they're now manually targeting no 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 target that and we'll turn you north to do it I don't know away from the suffering maybe so you're not going to fire for 10 minutes. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's good, because the Suffern is now sinking. No need to worry about her. She doesn't even have any of her heavy guns anyway. Okay. I can't believe the Ilononi does not have a shot on Dunkirk. Uh, it seems like it's almost a perfect shot. Maybe one more minute we have to go? I don't know. Let's turn southwest. We don't want to go through there, but kind of have to. We are turning up. That's not good because we don't want to face the destroyers. I guess we'll just keep going straight. We're going to just turn off your fire altogether until we pass the Suffren. Because these guys are not firing at the right target. We have manually targeting selected. No, that's because they can't do anything else. Okay, you know what? Just hold fire then. Everyone launch torpedoes, but hold fire. At least until we can get up to the Dunkirk, which is also sinking. Okay, well, that's interesting. Uh, don't hold fire anymore, because basically it doesn't matter. 
we want you to just engage because I want you to engage the destroyers. And that's one way of doing this is, okay, you guys can, yeah, it will actually still keep getting out of the way. This is insane though, like absolutely insane. Okay, stop hitting the suffering. You, yeah, you definitely keep your guns to yourself for a moment. Uh, yeah, this is good. Turn away from those. Okay. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Sorry if uh, the background noise is too much and if you haven't really been hearing me. I'm, I'm tired. I'm kind of not speaking loud enough, am I? But I want to get this one done before we... If, I, I don't want to leave this as a three-parter. Nobody wants that. And I don't want it because that would be another 40 minutes I don't have to record. Tiber, okay. Tiber uppercut. That's what I think every time. Did I always think it was Tiger uppercut? Maybe I thought it was Tiber uppercut. Who knows? We're targeting the wrong ships completely, but okay, fine. Uh, yeah, we don't even need to launch torpedoes of that one. She's just dead. Okay, some of our ships are sinking. A sad day indeed. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't waste all your ammunition on those. We actually did manage to hit their destroyer a bit. There she is, okay. So, prepare to fire torpedoes. Even though that will probably uh, hit the we are launching torpedoes, fantastic. Even though it's an unidentified ship, mind you. <laughs> no, pay no attention to that. We hit it. I, God, the battlefield turned away. <laughs> Do these guys have torpedoes? They don't. Manual, I mean, line of breast, turn away. Let the Tiber go to work here. It's her strong suit anyway. Okay, you guys turn away as well. Ah. A lot of shots on the Dunkirk. My god, Praetorian's really seeking revenge. Let's just have you um, stop firing for 10 minutes. And the Suffren is sinking as well. My god, I mean, everyone's sinking. All their ships are sinking. Uh, okay, I wish I could take you off AI control. Just get away from that Dunkirk quickly. So we hit with 14 inch guns, two 14 inch guns. And I think we hit it with a torpedo a little bit ago as well. But it is, yep, it's still kicking. But we're just gonna reverse course. Okay, we are still doing a little bit of damage. 14 inch guns with the Duca, 14 inch guns with the Fulmine, the Chibo also contributing, and the Etruria, everyone. The only one who didn't contribute, the Tiber, who was instructed not to fire. My my apologies. <laughs> and you know what? Well, okay, you know who to aim for. I'm not gonna even instruct it. It's, it's a waste of time. Sorry, Tiber, I was like, why isn't she firing? Did I, perhaps, I have been starting to restrict people from firing, and that is exactly what the case was here. Okay. So we're hitting this destroyer. She's trying to get out of here. The Tiber has opened up immediately, blasting the new Dreadnought. Yeah, we should be in good shape. Even the Chibos still contributing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, critical hit, machinery damaged. So you're gonna be down to 12 knots. Who do I have here? No, Je actually yes, you guys do come in quick finish her off while the Tiber is going to just flee that way good so we destroyed that destroyer for sure let's just get out of here boys let's let's call this one to a close I think we can just get everyone to go home 
Okay, let's just get everyone to go home manually. What the hell? Oh my goodness. Oh, we found their battle cruiser. This is insane. <laughs> what the heck? It's just crazy. Okay, you know what? When you go home, don't go that way. P.S. Just go this way. Open water. Everyone to open water. Down to cruise, open water. Cruise, open water. Cruise just because I don't want them to go too fast. I don't want them to run into uh, the other side. The southern... I don't want them to run into Africa. I also got to make sure that these guys don't hit any... Uh, wow, that was very quick. God, turn north. Get out of here, Berea. Yeah, the sinking magenta with the two asterisks to make sure of it is now definitely sinking. Wait, yeah, that's not actually a battle cruiser. We've done a good number on these guys. Oh, identified ship. It's not moving. Okay. Praetorian's now sinking another ship, which is already sinking anyway. That's fine. Okay, so I think we can run at speed now. Uh, what are you doing? Unknown ship. Oh, that's not good. I'm sorry, Sernano. Oh, well, if you can limp, go ahead and limp south with the rest of the fleet. Marchius Agrippa? Yeah, okay, I'll try to save her manually. What are you doing, Fulmine? What the hell are you doing? Oh, God, no. Okay, forget it. The Fulmine has just gone bat crazy. Okay, it doesn't have that much damage, but... Yeah. You, do you have any speed? Yeah, go ahead and head south then. Uh, I don't know what the hell these guys are doing. Now the alone, what the hell are these guys doing? All right. Pretty sure this is the battle cruiser. And she's getting blown up. Okay, let's just get you out. I will manually control you to safety then, you dumb, dumb ship. Make this faster, please. <laughs> yes. We're not going to get many people in there. Where the hell are they going? There's the Fulmine coming back like a retard. Sorry, it's not polite to say that. I shouldn't. Uh, boy, this Fulmine, though. Some nerve. Going to port? I don't think I even detached the Fulmine to uh, send her back to port. No idea what she's actually doing. What in God's name are you doing? What, the, what are, is going on with all my ships? Okay, fair enough. We lost uh, 10 destroyers. My God. Lots of them. I didn't realize that many. Obviously, completely okay with it. So, 100... Eight, sorry, eight hundred and fifteen thousand to seventy thousand over a over a ten to one point spread. We killed six of their dreadnoughts, all six, and left them one battle cruiser. Insane. So the question I had, and looks like I ah, uh, can I? I can't get this menu back. So I want to see the one that had the flash fire. Probably it didn't get that many hits against it. So let's look for one that sunk. Oh, is this the one that had a flash fire? Yes. Okay, so that makes sense. She only has 5-inch turrets going up even against 12-inch guns. That's very vulnerable. So, 
that was not then. Oh, and she, I guess she doesn't have any torpedo mounts either. Um, but going up against the uh, battleship was a bad idea for her then. Even a pre-war uh, battleship, which is what I had, which is what I think sank her. I mean, we can see. I just looked at it. And I didn't pay attention. Yeah, the Venetia. There it is. Ship blows up. So that's why you don't really want to send your armored cruisers, even late game ones, against heavy ships, capital ships. They're just they just don't have the armor for it. And low weather conditions best best conditions for them too. So if they still aren't performing well, anyway, let's try to keep this episode under an hour. That's obviously what that was. Uh, is there anything else I would be looking for here? Probably not. I'm just gonna let it go. So uh, thanks for watching. And until the next episode where I guess the end of the war, I mean, now we're finally on top. We can do whatever we want. Strategic points wise, maybe we can invade. So we'll see what happens though. Until the next one, thanks for watching and take care.